Hi everyone, in this video we'll take a look at how you can install Apache Zookeeper on Ubuntu. Keep in mind that uh, while Zookeeper in itself is an exhaustive topic uh, for us to cover in this video, keeping things really simple by installing Zookeeper uh, within a single node setup. Uh, of course this is uh, not the kind of setup that you will um, Put together on a production environment it's more to do with uh, setting up um, zookeeper for something uh, like a simple development environment uh, so nothing very complicated uh, about setting it up in that mode um, so these are the various steps that we will go through today so we need to download and extract zookeeper from the site uh, a prerequisite for zookeeper is to have Java up and running. Uh, we'll just make sure that uh, the Java home variable is set up. Um, the only one thing we will make a change is uh, to set up the data folder uh, required for zookeeper's coordination service. And then finally, uh, we'll start the service and uh, take a look at the status. So fairly simple set of uh, steps to follow. Um, so step one, head over to zookeeper.apache.org and uh, download uh, the latest uh, Zookeeper. Uh, now keep in mind that Zookeeper as um, um, a product is uh, embedded into uh, many other Apache uh, projects as well as uh, non-Apache and various other open source initiatives. So Zookeeper basically provides um, a clustering uh, coordination service. Um, so think about it in terms of um, all the projects, distributed projects like take uh, Hadoop or Kafka for example. Uh, it really is a distributed environment and uh, there needs to be this common set of services like um, uh, configuration uh, information, synchronization, and even things like leader uh, election. Um, if you, one node fails, you need to set up uh, the next leader, for example. Now, these are the kind of most common set of services that um, uh, instead of embedding it, that logic within uh, each project, um, various projects instead used to use uh, Zookeeper. So again, it's uh, quite powerful in that regard to help us uh, manage uh, a cluster coordination set of service. Um, so again, in, in our environment, we are only setting it up for a single node, but uh, in a production environment, um, you'll have multiple uh, Zookeeper machines, so facilitating as a Zookeeper master and many, many number of uh, Zookeeper servers. Um, so anyway, do keep that in mind. So uh, again, today we are just doing something really simple. So. Hopefully by now Zookeeper is uh, downloaded on your machine. So the next step is uh, for us to um, install Zookeeper. So I've downloaded Zookeeper in advance on my machine. And uh, where is my downloads? Yeah, so I've, I've got this uh, set up in advance. Um, so what I've done is I've uh, extracted it. Uh, so make sure that you extract it. I've done that in advance. And I've uh, put that in my home directory um, under Zookeeper and the version number. So I've basically done this first step in advance. So make sure that um, you have done that as well. The next step is to make sure that um, you have uh, Java installed and you have set up the Java home folder in your bash rc um, file. So I've installed Java in advance. Um, make sure that you have Java running on your server or on your machine. Um, if I edit nano bash uh, rc. So amongst various other environment variables I've also got uh, the Java home here. So that's what you need to set up. So make sure it points to your Java installation or JDK. And once you've done that, oh, of course, if you have edited it, please make sure that you run bash rc uh, for any changes that you made to the bash rc file to take effect, otherwise it just wouldn't. So make sure you run it and uh, that covers step two. Uh, now for the main step here is um, to update the zookeeper file. Um, so go, b go back to uh, the folder that you have extracted zookeeper and under the con folder, you'll notice by default it creates a folder called zoo dot uh, zoo underscore sample. Um, best practice just uh, keep a copy of that. Don't edit the file directly and let's rename that to zoo.cfg. So 
So let's open the file. Um, there's quite a lot of configuration already set up. Uh, and again, we are only um, in this video, I'm only covering setting up a, a, over a single node. So we don't have to change much of the parameters. Uh, the only thing we'll change is um, setting up a folder where um, we need to save all the temp, uh, uh, a temporary folder for all the data. Um, so keeping it very simple, I'll go back to uh, my home folder and I'll create a folder called zoo. And within that, I'm creating another folder. Let's call it data. And that's the folder we are going to use. So here, change that over to point it to the newly created folder. Uh, feel free to change the folder uh, to what works best for you. And that should be it. So now if we go to ZooKeeper. Uh, so within ZooKeeper, so we are pretty much done uh, with uh, step one, two, and three. The final step is to uh, run the ZooKeeper uh, service itself. So it's um, under the bin folder, we have a ZooKeeper server.sh and let's start the server. So that that was fairly quick because it's uh, again a single node um, environment that we have here. And if you do need to check the status of the server, you can run bin zookeeper server same same file. Just provide ops uh, sh and status. It'll tell you if uh, zookeepers are running or not. Uh, and again, here it shows you that it's uh, running in standalone mode um, because we have put together a single node environment. So that's it for um, setting up uh, ZooKeeper. Uh, in future videos, we'll talk more about ZooKeeper and various other Apache projects. Thanks everyone for watching. Do like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.